So Super Projects is an organisation that works with young audiences to explore new and non-traditional way ways to connect young people with contemporary art. We work with the most exciting contemporary artists that we can find, um, connecting them with young people in schools such as in this project. The theme of the project is the story of my life. So the idea was to kind of open the young people's eyes to creativity as a way of expressing themselves and a way of expressing what, what's going on in their lives and what's important to them. Entertainment. Interact with both COVID and me. Movies, fashion, uh, music. Um, horror. Nirvana, Oasis, Sex Pistols. My dog and it's just his his face on a on a helmet. Social media, positive vibes. The story of my life. The students are going to be talking about their life. Some of them are talking about their life through what they like. Some of them are talking about their life through their family histories. Some of them are talking about the story of their life through like very um maybe like the ambitions that they have in life. Especially with this group, um, it is quite broad. You know, you do have a lot of topics under the umbrella of the story of my life. You know, you have sport, you have community, friendship, things like that, that the students are kind of talking about themselves. So I think it helps communication with them and for them to be able to express how they feel about. Think about proportion. Think about trying to make it look like a person, you know, rather than a, a, a cartoon or a scribble. Okay? And hold your pen loose, loose, loose. We were trying to make it, you know, bring them on a journey, I guess. And we, we did, really. From initially, they didn't really know, even comprehend what the scope of the project was. And then to the end, we ended up with all these, these really wonderful drawings that were really expressed, really charged. We we're trying to put feelings into the paintings almost, like we're trying to show not just, um, oh yeah, here's a thing on a piece of paper, here's a thing on a piece of paper that's meant to make you feel something. Art is just really expressing yourself and like tossing everything down, what's in your mind and just letting it all loose and just being yourself. It can be a job, it can be like, just something fun to do. It can be something that you can even do with your friends. Kind of inspire people as well, so if they see it, maybe they'll take up art and then their friends can see it, they'll take up art and so on, you know. Hopefully, anyway. When I think of art, I don't actually think of drawing. It's actually mostly things in the 3D space, like sculptures or even just like machines that are just really well designed. Art can also be like who you are and how you change over time as well. Because I'm more of a scientist than an art guy. It's not it's not a simple subject. It's a it's something that takes time to get used to and it's something that some people may not like but some people love. I think art can be anything you want it to be. Art can be a way to relieve stress or to just make something good out of like a bad situation. I think of art as more like an explosion that it's hard to master, but once you do, it's beautiful. This is a zine making workshop that's kind of going through various different stages of the process of making a zine. The idea is that everyone makes their own one. And um, I'm hoping as well that like people can kind of look at what everyone else is doing and get a chance to see all the other ones that are being made. I love fantasy and magic and trying to create environments where people can really relax and engage in that kind of magic so that you know you can break down the barriers a little bit and I do that using very kind of lo-fi materials and um, kind of hodgepodge you know goppity um, sculptures and costumes you know. I wanted to try and break down a little bit how they would approach making something and give them new tools to do that. Like even simple things like scribbling and saying, you know, if you scribble for five minutes and get rid of all of the white paper, then it's less scary. And I think most of what I was trying to do was to try and reduce the kind of any kind of anxiety about making something. 
that the, the, the process of making was more valuable than the thing at the end. Uh, I thought it was really fun to like get to hear everyone else's like ideas and interests and like opinions and stuff to, like to get to know each other. And all the art around the room, like so you can see the hours and the weeks that people have put into their projects. I'd say I had a lot of fun with it in general overall, not too bad. So yeah, pretty good. One, one, two, three. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen and uh, students. Uh, my name is Rosie and I'm the branch manager here and you're all very welcome to North Clondalk and Library this morning for the launch of the story of my life auto fictions. The exhibition is absolutely fantastic, I've been having a look around it, so well done to everybody involved, to the students and teachers from Moyle Park College, St Kevin's Community College and Collinstown, Collinstown Community College on producing such a vibrant and interesting exhibition and well done to the three artists involved.